All right, awesome. Now that we have our endpoint and our private key, we pretty much have everything that we need to deploy to our own local blockchain, be it Ganache or Anvil. Same as working with a real blockchain, we need an actual balance to spend gas to deploy our contract. Now, there's actually two ways that we're going to learn to deploy contracts. And the first way is actually with just working with the command line. If we're in our command line, if we're in our terminal here and we do forge dash dash help, we can actually see all the different commands that forge comes built in with. The one we're going to be working with right now is this create command. And if you read it, it says it deploys a smart contract, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. And if we're in our command here, let's hit clear and we do forge create dash dash help. We can see a ton of different options for deploying our contract. Click show keys, copy the private key. Again, if you're using Anvil, use the private keys there. If we do forge create simple storage, which is the name of our contract, it'll compile and then it'll throw an error actually, or it might actually work. But because I'm working with this RPC server, but this RPC server is different from the one that forge actually defaults to. So instead what I can do is forge create simple storage dash dash RPC dash URL, copy this, paste it in here. It might be upset with the uppercase. So let's just make that lowercase and I'll hit enter and this won't work either. Well, of course we forgot to add a private key. So if I hit up, I can hit dash dash interactive as well. And now it'll prompt me for a private key. Now, and a really important note that I want to tell you, never use a real private key in your VS code. If you're using an application that potentially will send your information, a much better option is to use your own terminal as opposed to something like VS code, which might send data or Git pod. Since we are just developing and we're just practicing, it's fine to paste our private keys here because this is a private key that's not going to have any real money, right? It's a fake private key. So for now, we can go ahead. We can go back to our ganache or back to our anvil, hit show keys, copy this private key, paste it in here. It won't show up if you hit paste, but I'll hit enter and we'll go ahead and see information about our transaction. Now, if you're working with ganache, we can now hit done here. We go to blocks. We see we created a new block. If we go to transactions. We can see that we sent a transaction and we created a contract. And then you can see logs about working with this as well. Fantastic. If you're working with Anvil and you send a transaction, you're not going to see any of those details. For those of you who want to continue to see these blocks and these transactions and want to keep working with Ganache, feel free to do so. <clears throat> Moving forward, we're going to work with Anvil. So I'm actually going to close Ganache now. I'm going to hit clear in the terminal and I'm going to run Anvil here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new terminal by hitting the plus button here. And we're going to run that command again, but we're going to run it with a private key from Anvil. So if we go to here, we can do forge create. This time we don't have to put an RPC because forge defaults to the Anvil one, but I can say simple storage dash interactive. It'll do enter the private key. I will paste it and we'll go ahead and deploy. Go to Anvil. We don't get any logs like this, but we can see we went ahead and actually deployed it to our Anvil blockchain. Awesome work. Another way we can do this forge create is by running forge create simple storage. If we wanted to be incredibly explicit, we would do dash dash RPC dash URL, copy this HTTP colon slash slash paste it in there dash dash private key and back in anvil, copy the private key, paste it in like this, and we would get the same thing. 